Hi, welcome. Another beautiful day. We've got a heat wave forecast this week, which is fantastic. Um, and we're going to have a quick look now at bicycle bolts and how much torque they can take before they fail. Um, we have here a torque wrench. This is a Sintase one, uh, good quality. It goes up to 20 Newton meters. Now, if there's any confusion at all about what torque is, the clue's in the name, Newtons times meters. It's basically the force that you apply times the distance of your lever. So 10 Newton meters is about one kilo applied uh, one meter from your, from your axis. So uh, the longer the lever, the more torque you're going to get. Now, uh, this this stem here is just an old, cheap stem. It has steel bolts, and the thread is aluminium because the, the body of the of the stem is is aluminium. So what we're going to do first of all is just wind up the torque wrench to 10 newton meters, which is way above what most stems recommend. They generally tend to be between four and six newton meters um, and let's just see how we go with this um, okay about five or six okay so that's that's ten we'll, we'll do both of them up just so that it's it's an even talk Okay, so that's taken 10, no problem whatsoever. So let's now go up to 20, which is the max for this for this torque wrench. I do have a torque wrench which goes up to 80 or 90, but unfortunately I don't have an adapter for the um, for these Allen heads because I suspect that this will quite happily take 20. Now when it comes to bolts and threads it's kind of the weakest link in the chain because even though these these bolts are steel and will be very strong um, you need to think about what it's threading into. Now the material here is aluminium and also the the depth of the thread. Now a lot of the light high quality stems you have on bikes these days uh, they do thread into aluminium and the amount of thread available to, to spread the stress of the, of the tightening torque is actually quite small so you need to think about all those factors when you when you judge how how tight to tighten them all right let's see if i can get these to 20. jesus it's not that easy actually yep yeah. that's that one yep yeah. So that's absolutely fine. 20 newton meters, about four times what it would uh, normally be specced at. So that survived the test. Right, so what we have here, this is an aluminium high quality bicycle bolt, M4 Allen key head on a steel nut, just threaded through, pushed, pushed through a, a hole in a basic piece of steel. And I'm gonna tighten up now aggressively and see if we can make this bolt fail and see where it fails so here's this is four newton meters so that's fine um, let's take it up to six gone it's gone so that's just turning on itself now and the threads have stripped so you can see here this is the the first smaller m5 bolt that i struggled to get off actually um, i had to cut the the nut off with an angle grinder um, and uh, you can see how it's just been spinning on itself inside the nut and just destroyed the thread completely um, so that is a bolt that has well and truly failed. Right, so next up what we have here is another aluminium bolt. This is the same quality, same manufacturer as the, as the smaller one. Uh, this is M6 
Allen key head. I've just threaded it, pushed it through this, uh, this stem cap and um, we will see what it takes to break it. And again, this has a steel nut on the back, so that should hold up fairly well. It'll be the aluminium bolt which fails first. So this is six newton meters, should take this fine. There we go. Um, let's go up to eight. It's gone. So you can see it's just spinning on itself again and the threads have gone. So probably nine, between nine and 10 Newton meters was enough to fail that aluminium bolt. So there you go, just be careful. I mean, M6, you see that a lot on things like um, uh, seat posts, um, seat post clamps, stems sometimes, and you are gonna have an aluminium thread as well in the stem or or wherever so it could well be that thread which fails before the bolt does so you can see here that there's no hard and fast rule you can't say nine is where it's at it depends on the, the the length of the thread in your stem or wherever and the material as well and uh yeah i mean if you if you have a titanium bolt it's going to be that bit stronger it'll be a bit better than aluminium and obviously steel is, is the strongest of them all. So, but again, you need to think about what it's threading it into before you can judge what the maximum torque is. But as long as you go by the guidelines of the manufacturers, they'll have worked all this, kind of, all this out for you. But if there is nothing stated, then just use your common sense and generally between four and six is, is fine. Um, for the smaller bolts, uh, between two and four is, is fine as well.